how to disassemble, clean, lubricate, and reassemble an H&K VP9SK. All I'm going to use to clean this gun is some cotton rags. This is just a cut up t-shirt. I'm using original gun oil. It's a really good CLP, cleaner lubricant and protectant. It'll clean as well as lubricate. I'm going to use a toothbrush, a boar snake. This is a Hoppy's uh, boar snake. That's to clean the inside of the barrel. Um, instead of using a rod and patches, this is much quicker. We might be using some cotton swabs to get into some tight spots. And if there's any um, really tight spots, we're going to use some pipe cleaners. Okay, so first we want to verify that the gun is unloaded. Open the slide, verify the gun is completely unloaded. Now with the slide locked back, we just rotate the takedown lever as such. Move the slide back to release the slide stop and then allow the slide to come right off the front of the gun. Then remove the recoil spring and guide rod. Lift out the barrel, field stripped and ready for cleaning. Now this is the first cleaning. This goop that you see here, this is a preservative that the factory puts on to prevent corrosion and rust. So we're going to clean all that off and lube it up and reassemble. So I'm just going to take a cotton cloth, really it's a cut up t-shirt, and I'm going to wipe all that visible stuff off that I can see. Wipe it off all the parts. Exterior here, barrel. Looks like they put a bunch on here. Okay, that's going to get the bulk of that off. So now we're going to clean the VP9. This one is uh, practically brand new. We just um, wiped the preservative off that the factory puts on it. But uh, if your gun is dirty, then this is how I clean the gun. Basically, I'm going to take uh, original gun oil, which is a CLP, which is a cleaner and a lubricant. I'm going to coat everything with this gun oil and let it sit for, I don't know, five minutes or so to let it loosen any dirt. And then we're just going to come back and wipe everything off. Just kind of get it all over, all the parts that you want to clean for the slide. I'll put a couple drops in here. And then just kind of spread it around with a toothbrush. Get a little bit on all the surfaces. And on the frame, I'm just basically going to get it on the components here that, uh, that tend to get dirty. Get a little bit in there. A little bit more if it's really dirty. Let it sit for about five minutes or so and come back and wipe it all down. Now after everything has sat for at least five minutes or, uh, or longer, basically we're just going to go through each part and wipe everything down to get all the dirt and most of the cleaner off of there. We'll start with the external of the barrel. Now I'm just going to run a boar snake through the barrel and the boar snake has built in copper brushes uh, to scrape the inside of the barrel and it's going to clean it up real nice. We're going to, we're just going to run it through three times. All right, nice and clean barrel. Very important that this feed ramp is very, very clean. That's where the the rounds slide up into the chamber to be fired. Another way to get in the little nooks and crannies here is to just just lay the rag over it and use the brush. It'll push the rag down in between. And I use the same trick with the slide. Just use the brush to kind of push the cloth into the nooks and crannies, especially the slide rails here. Let the bristles do the work. That's pretty good. You can see I got nice and clean. I'm going to do the same thing with the frame here. I'm 
just keep working at it until you got everything nice and clean again it doesn't have to be dry and 100 percent especially if you're using a CLP like original gun oil because that'll help protect all the metal parts all right nice and clean oh beautiful it's a beautiful thing so now we're going to lubricate the H and K VP9 and the manual calls for light lubrication uh, especially in these uh, spots the um, outside of the barrel guide rod and recoil spring assembly the slide rails and the slide cuts it also calls for lubrication um, light lube all metal parts all internal parts of the slide and the frame also calling for a little bit more lube um, in these areas here so we'll make sure we hit those first we're just going to put a tiny drop of oil on the barrel and we're going to just smear it around the outside of the barrel just a light coating there now we're going to just put a one drop here one drop here just kind of spread that around with the brush just to kind of get it all over now the manual calls for a very very light coating of oil on all metal parts so to do that I'm going to put a couple of drops on this cotton rag here and I'm just going to kind of get a little coat of oil the inside of the slide here now it also wants to put a little bit more in the slide cut so one drop in each slide cut and I just use a brush to make sure that spreads all the way up and down both slide cuts and then wipe off there's a little bit of excess there wipe off a little excess all right and a drop maybe like a half a drop on the extractor if the drops a little big you just want to wipe some of that off because we don't need too much on there we're going to do similar on the frame so we're going to put a couple of drops on the rag and just kind of wipe all the metal parts down a little bit now on the rails we want to put like a half a drop on each of the rails and then we want to drop down in the trigger pin that might have been a little much we don't want too much going on in there and we also want to lube this locking block maybe just one drop get the excess out of there we don't want oil just swimming around in there attracting dirt all right and that should be good for the frame now we just need to reassemble so we're just going to drop the barrel in there guide rod and recoil spring goes in there just like that all right and then we just want to line up the slide slide it onto the rails just like that nice and easy all the way back lock it in place lock it in place now rotate the takedown pin back and then run the slide all the way to the rear slide stop releases the gun is back together just run this a few times to spread the lubrication around a little bit clean take a clean rag clean cloth and just wipe it down on the outside there you go all right perfect please hit the like button below and please subscribe and all the items that we used in the video today are linked in the description below thanks for watching